Hi everybody, this is Karen from Sunrise Australian Labradoodles. And in this video, we are gonna go over your puppy's vaccinations and worming. And I hope that all of you have made an appointment for your puppy to be seen within three working days of receiving your puppy. Um, and when you go to that, that appointment, I want you to bring this entire packet and give them the whole packet. And it has all this information that, that they'll need to um, put in their computer about when your puppy might need its vaccinations, okay? The first page of your packet is the information about your puppy's vaccination and warming. I'm just gonna slip it out here so I can show you a little bit better. Um, but don't take it out of here, okay? <laughs> just keep it in there. Um, Usually when you come here at eight weeks and pick up your puppy, we will write some things here so you will have these notes that kind of look like this, okay? But this is all the information about your puppy on the top. Um, it has a microchip number, um, date of birth, all that. And this first section right here is about worming. Your puppy has been warmed quite a bit um, while, while it was here from the first week, almost every week. And then again, right before your puppy went home at eight weeks old, it was warmed. Um, in your puppy packet, you also have a, um, a health certificate from um, my licensed veterinarian um, who did, um, if your puppy was spay or neutered, uh, the vet did the spay and neuter and the same time they were wormed and they were given their second set of shots. Your puppy has had two sets of shots. We're gonna go over that worming, your puppy has had about four or five usually, and then one right um, before it went home. So what you need to do is get with your vet and they will give you um, HeartGuard. HeartGuard is the only worming medicine that I recommend giving your puppy once a month for its entire life. And then it will be safe from all worms and including um, not tapeworms, but including all worms, including heartworms, okay? Your vet will probably have you do um, a test every year. You'll have to pay for that, and then they'll give you HeartGuard. But HeartGuard is the only one that I recommend. It's the safest out there on the market, okay? Um, the second little grouping right here is vaccinations. Your puppy has been um, vaccinated with two sets of vaccinations, okay? I have done it at around six to seven weeks. I do the first set of vaccinations. The first one is Parvo, which is very bad, um, and Distemper and I give them around six weeks old. And then the vet has given it right before the puppies go home at eight weeks, they have given their other. So there's set one and there's set two that have already been given to your puppy, okay? Your puppy needs four sets of vaccinations um, and to be fully vaccinated. And then after the fourth set, they will get a rabies shot, usually around 16 weeks. So I can't tell you when exactly your puppy is gonna need the third set and the fourth set because that's something that your vet will help you decide. Some vets like it at 10 weeks and 11 weeks and some vets like it at 13 to 14 weeks for the fourth. Um, so that's something you talk to your vet about. Um, there are lot numbers and other information about these vaccinations on the health certificate. And if your vet needs any of that information, um, they will, um, you'll have that information in your packet with the health certificate, okay? This just tells you what they got and when. It tells you when that it was done, when they were given, and, um, and then that your puppy needs four sets of vaccinations needed between six and 16 weeks, okay? Um, so give this to your vet and then they'll help you decide when when their fourth, um, the third and the fourth vaccinations are due. At the last set of vaccination, the fourth set, your puppy will need a rabies shot. Your puppy will need a rabies shot and then the first, the first rabies shot that your puppy get will be only for one year. So they'll have to get another rabies shot in one year from that date when it was given. After that, 
they'll do like a three-year vaccination so that your puppy will all, um, only need a rabies vaccination every three years, okay? But the first year, the puppy year, they'll, they'll, it'll only last for one year. And again, the vet will tell you when that's needed. Okay, so that is your vaccinations. And remember, if you have any questions about vaccinations, you can always email me or something. Um, that'd be great. For worming, um, we went through worming. Um, for flea meds, let's talk about flea medications for a second. We, uh, most of you are from Florida. I know there's a lot of out of state people and sometimes in the winter time, you know, you don't get fleas because you're in a colder state. Um, Florida, not so much. <laughs> we have fleas all around, all year round. So you are, if you live in Florida or a warm state, you will need flea medications every month and heart guard. I mean, so just mark it on your calendar the first of every month and just get it done every month, okay? I recommend certain flea medications. My preference is always medications that do not go through the digestive system, okay? Um, there are pills out there that you can take that, that vets will give you for your puppy that go through the, the digestive system. And I, I'm not in favor of those. I like the topical ones. If we can get away with topical ones, let's do that, okay? Um, Frontline Plus is my favorite, okay? You can buy it at Walmart or Petco, whatever. And um, my second is Advantage 2. Both of those are topical. You put um, just a little on the back of the nape of the dog's neck, kind of right with the, below the collar and between the shoulder blades. And it just sinks into the skin. It doesn't go through the digestive system. It does get to the bloodstream that way. And it repels um, fleas. So that's what you want. And ticks, um, depending on what um, the product says. The other one that I, off that I like to offer people, um, and when I suggest flea meds is the Soresto collar, okay? They're kind of like the old fashioned flea collars, but they don't get on your hands. They are effective and they last for a much longer period. You buy a collar and it usually lasts for eight to nine months or something like that. And it's more expensive, um, but you just don't have to think about it all the time. I have found them to be very safe. I use them on some of my breeding dogs. Um, and so the, that's something um, that's something to consider anyway. So that is about flea meds. Those are the ones that I recommend heartworm heart guard. It's called and for flea meds frontline advantage to, and the Soresto collars. If your vet recommends something else that is totally up to you. Um, unless you're a guardian home and you have one of my breeding dogs, um, you can go with anything that your vet recommends if, if you um, if you want. So if you guys have any questions about flea meds or vaccinations, um, you let me know, email you, email me, <laughs> email me. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, thank you for listening. Bye-bye.